Welcome to Electron Online, and now let's take a look at the various frequencies of electromagnetic radiation. Remember, using the equation for the wave that the speed of light is equal to the frequency times the wavelength, we can change that to the frequency equals the speed of light divided by the wavelength. And for a couple of things that we're very familiar with, for example, for sunlight, we can figure out the frequency just for uh, some practice. We can say the speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second and the wavelength of visible light is about 500 nanometers, which is 500 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. And then if we calculate that, we get 6 times 10 to the 14 hertz, which is 600 trillion times per second. That's the vibrational frequency of typical sunlight. What about the radiation coming from a person? Well, let's say that a person's normally body temperature is about 37 degrees centigrade, which is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit which is 310 Kelvin. We have to always convert everything into Kelvin. If we plug that into the same equation, we have the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8 uh, meters per second. We divide that by the wavelength of, well, how do we get the wavelength from that? Well, it's about 10 micrometers, actually about 9.35 micrometers. Let me check that real quick. Uh, 0 0.0029 divided by uh, the temperature, 310 we get about 9.35, that would be 9.35 times 10 to the minus 6 meters. And if we go ahead and divide that in there, we take that times 3 e to the 8, we get 3.2 times 10 to the 13 hertz. 3.2 times 10 to the 13 hertz. Imagine the radiation coming from our bodies has a frequency of 3.2 times 10 to the 13 hertz. That's 32 trillion times per second. And how does that happen? Well, the, the atoms in our bodies and on our skin, because it's the skin that radiates out the electromagnetic radiation, the atoms in our skin are vibrating back and forth at 32 trillion times per second, thus causing the radiation from our bodies to go out at the very same frequency. That's absolutely phenomenal if you think about it. The atoms in your body vibrate back and forth at 32 trillion times per second. Wow, that's quite something. And that's where our radiation comes from, the infrared radiation. So for all the various bands of, of electromagnetic radiation, the frequency for radio is roughly about 3 times 10 to the 7 hertz, so that would be about 30 million hertz, that's for wavelengths of 10 meters, that's roughly uh, the average size for radio waves. Microwaves that have wavelengths about uh, in the centimeter range, let's say 3 centimeters, have a frequency about 1 times 10 to the 10 hertz, that is 10 billion hertz. Infrared radiation from our bodies, that would be about 3 times 10 to the 13 hertz, that's about 30 trillion hertz. Visible light would be 600 trillion hertz. UV radiation is in the range of about 3,000 trillion hertz, and so that's at the ra radiation range where when we receive that radiation, it becomes damaging to our bodies, and we'll learn all about why that is so. X-rays are even higher, 3 times 10 to the 18 hertz, typically, for about one angstrom radiation. And for gamma radiation, the frequency is in the terms of 10 to the 20 hertz. So that gives you kind of an idea of how the frequencies change for different kind of radiation. Regardless of which one you look for, even the radio ra uh, frequencies, radio which have very long wavelengths, the frequency still is in the hundreds of thousands to millions of hertz. Even then, it's a tremendously high frequency for the radiation. So now you get kind of a feel for different ENM frequencies.